How do you get bucks to spend more time on your farm? This is a snippet from the Exodus podcast with Tony LaPratt. He has it down to a science. You guys are going to love this. Let's get right into it. Here we go. So then when I was sitting in there hunting, the buck come out and there was a natural scrape. The buck get out of the bed because deer didn't bed. I was so proud that I had buck beds. The buck walks over to the scrape. He spends about five minutes maximum there, rubs on a little thing, and then he jumps into my neighbor's fence, and here it is two hours before it's going to get dark, and he's already on the neighbor. And I go, if he wouldn't have stopped at that scrape, spent five minutes, he, he, in less than five minutes, he'd been off my property. So then I realized, and then the buck, when he stood, he scanned everything. He could see every inch of that field. I said, he got all the information he needed in one corner, and he didn't need to walk around the field. That's where I started putting in grasses and screening, and now it's a giant maze, and the bucks can't see. And, and even the way you plant a field will determine how many fawns are born. It will tell you how long a buck will stay in it. It'll tell you how many rubs and scrapes you get. So if you guys got time, I don't know how much time we got here, but it'll only take me a few minutes yeah, to explain go for it. this. Go for it. Okay, so when you got a three, uh, there's a field on my thing, I do tests. That's why nothing's my opinions. I do tests to tell people stuff. So I got a three and a half acre field. When it was one food plot, flat as a pancake, the buck comes into this corner and he can see every inch of it. So he put a, a couple of rubs and a scrape in there. He'd average about five minutes and off he'd go. Then every spring a doe would have her fawns and they will defend whatever they can see. So they have proven that does will defend 10 to 20 acres to have their fawns. So now if another doe comes out there, she'll go down there and kick at that other fawn. The meanest girl gets to have her fawn there. So then what I did is split it in 13 chunks with grasses and everything and to hide it all. Now what happens, a doe only defends to where she can see. So now in that field where I used to only get two fawns, same amount of real estate, already owned it, planted with food. Now there's years I each one of them sections can have a doe with their fawns. So a lot of years I'll have eight to ten fawns in that same field I used to only get two because I basically put a curtain. No different, we can't see what's on the other side of this aisle unless we go on the other side. Then... The buck comes to that one little spot in the corner now because it's 13 chunks. He puts rubs and scrapes, but he knows there's all these other things, but he can't see them. No different when somebody comes to a deer show, they don't pay to get in and walk down one aisle. They walk through the whole show to see what's in everybody's booth and what's here. So now the buck goes around in a five-year study. I average about 75 rubs and scrapes per visit to that field. The other thing is he circled the whole field now because he can't see nothing from only that one corner, so now he has to move. The other thing it did is it used it up about 45 minutes to 50 minutes of time. When he's on my property doing something, nobody else can shoot him. That's still not the most important thing. It ain't the important part about I got that many more does. It ain't about the rubs and scrapes. It ain't even about the time. The best thing I teach people is how to kill big bucks, mature bucks, in a few days. In the old setup, I called it a one-dimensional. I'm always telling people, you got a one-dimensional stand here. And they go, what are you talking about? I said, well, it's one corner. Everything has to be perfect to win. And this is the only corner the deer are coming out. So now, everybody wants to overhunt that because it's the only good corner. So it's one-dimensional. If you got four to five guys I'm walking with on a normal day, everybody overhunts it. Before soon, it ain't even no good. Because the buck circles my field, I can hunt any wind that's blown at me on any day because here's a corner that ain't going to be right. Mm. So now I made it so guys can hunt and not destroy their own property. So then what it does, it lets me kill him very quickly and get out of there. And now I even put less pressure on my property because it only takes me a day or two to go. So at the boot camp, we cover like 400 topics. We walk all this all day. I just keep on talking and everything's done. So I can show the difference of all these different style buck beds, doe beds, how to break the food plots up, design, how to make the food be where you want at certain times, where to plant the different stuff. And this all creates movement. As you're compartmentalizing <clears throat> those open spaces, is that does that look like just a grid section of like a quarter acre, quarter acre, quarter acre, yeah. or is there something to the movement inside well, of yeah. that? Yeah, it can be the lay of the land, and then you know you don't want everything to be perfect. But even like if you take and put a 
a, a, a switchgrass, pompous grass, macanthus grass. At my farm, I use everything you can imagine because I don't care what you use. I just show you the plus and minus of each one. You know, this, you know, like guys might want to use conifers. I said a screen from the road with conifers is 10 to 12 years minimum. If we use grasses, we're at three years. And I show them all the different ways that they can screen stuff from making it happen in one year to making it take 10 years. I don't care which one they use. I'm just here telling most people, most people that come and see me are older guys. We don't got years to waste, okay? I look at the 20-year-old guy, I go, you can plant a pine tree. I look over at a guy that's 65, I says, you need grasses, okay? And I said, I didn't invent this, just the way the world is. 